Okay, so welcome back to MX versus ATV Supercross Encore. We have two multiplayer races today. This one, and then I think the second one is from Indianapolis. Now, these were from different times. These weren't... I wasn't sitting down and recording and got both of these races. They were two separate times, different days, actually. Um, and they're not great races, but I thought they were fun enough that they were worth... Or fun enough, interesting enough that I thought they were, they were worth showing... Uh, now, I don't exactly remember what position I get in this race. I remember in the second one uh, from Indianapolis, but I do not remember this one. I do know there's lots of mistakes. This is this is Los Angeles, okay? I don't like this track. This is my, uh, my first... If I had to choose which track I dislike the most, it's this one. Dallas was kind of up there for a while. I don't mind Dallas as much now, but I still don't like it a lot. Oakland I struggle at, but Los Angeles, number one thumbs up from me for being the track that I don't like at all. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you like Los Angeles or do you not? I don't. I never have. I can't run good lines here. I know a few fast ones. Again, I don't know if they're the fastest, but I just struggle to hit them consistently. You know what I mean? I struggle. Now, we actually did run um, first couple of laps were pretty good. We're sitting in, what are we in? We're in the number one position about, what, one and, one and a quarter laps into this. This guy, we fought with him for a long time. And then I started to make a lot of mistakes and things started to fall apart. And we had to do the whole battle back thing. But that always makes it interesting, right? Multiplayer is... Uh, sometimes it's fun just trying to, when you get behind, trying to throw down really awesome laps and try and uh, sneak in a win. Uh, but and, and the other thing about this is that lag. You know, it says we were, it said we were in first... A while back even though we were in second and then so you're never really sure as, as well as the interval clock you're, you're never really sure what that is you know I've had it say that I had a two second three second lead before and all of a sudden the guy's front wheel peaks in a frame and so it's really hard to tell I've also had it where I finished fourth I think and in the results it placed me in fifth even though my overall race time was quicker so multiplayer I've never really paid too much attention to that, but that's kind of a weird thing, I guess. Anyways, we are on lap three. We're in the number two position. Looks like... Who did take first there? I think he ends up... It's, I think it's that Yamaha, that 97 Yamaha. He ends up winning it. He was really fast. He had really good, consistent lines. We also... I don't think we could have caught him. He was definitely faster than we were, but... Somewhere in here... I think I get bumped a little bit, and then I oversteer right here. I oversteer a little bit, get a little out of control, we go off the track, and I basically turn this section into big loops. Basically. Not very pretty. Not pretty. We kind of just case everything. And so that killed us trying to, you know, make a make a run back to the to battle with him. And so we are sitting in third. Uh, not too far back from second, but... Hitting this line is really awesome. I'm not sure how much faster it is. I never really felt like I gained too much time on them doing that. So again, here, I'm not really sure where I like making up time. It's tough. It's tough for me. I think the sections that I make up a lot of time usually are... Uh, this, not this section coming up, but the section after that. That rhythm, usually I can make up time there if I get a good timing through it. You know, everybody pretty much goes triple, triple, triple here. With the exception of maybe a quad in the middle and a double. I don't really know if that's a lot faster here. I usually I can make up time here, but I think I mess up somewhere at triple. I don't know, maybe we do get this. I do get through this basically the way I would like to. Having that single into the corner sometimes can be annoying, but um, I guess we'll just have to deal with that. Do we get this here? We get a triple. We do get a triple, and I think I missed the full preload. Yeah, so we have that kind of case single into the corner. He finished the race already. We're still battling back here. I really, really, really wanted second. I really wanted it, but it's pretty obvious. We're going to settle with third today. So third at Los Angeles. It was a pretty big lobby. Uh, we'll take it. We will take it, though. Uh, anyways, there is a second race. and I, Like I said, I think it's Andy Indianapolis. We're going to check that out. We'll be cutting to that here in just a second. Uh, that's a really quick one. The lap times are pretty short there. And that was a much closer race. Uh, for basically the entire four laps, it was a much closer race.
All right, Indianapolis, this track is a lot of fun. It's really easy. There's really only one rhythm section that I don't know that well. 151, I like his number. We're lined up next to a 151. Right on. So we get a really good start, actually. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what happens. I don't really remember, so we'll kind of be going through this together. I got the big line there, which did help a lot uh, to give us just a little breathing room in the beginning. And then everything else is pretty simple, pretty standard. I think I do mess up this rhythm section coming up after this triple many, many times, which is probably what hurt us trying to scrub over that triple. I think the faster line for me is to take this outside and then jump all the way in. Now, we did get a little bump, but it didn't affect us too much, but enough that we weren't able to clear that last one. And then we went from first to third. So that kind of that sucks. That sucks a little bit, but they were still close enough, you know, that we were... We were able to make this a battle. So I'm watching, I'm trying to, like I said, I don't really remember. I know how I finish, but I don't really remember exactly how the race went. So we are in second place, going into lap two. Again, really quick lap times here. Uh, for the most part, I kept messing this up. I couldn't quite jump back onto that, I guess, table more or less. The rest of the race, I was a little too far to the left and never really got a, just a great run out of that corner, which, which did hurt us a little bit, but nonetheless, it was still a decent enough line. Throw a little scrub over the triple. I think we're gonna take this outside again here. Did we get it? We overjump it. So we triple, because I don't think I was gonna get that quad, and then we quad out. So it really, I don't know if it makes a whole lot of difference, that quad out or the quad in the middle is probably about the same. I was close enough to these guys that we kept like, um, <coughs> excuse me, we kept jumping on each other, and. That's always a pain in the butt. Plus that little bit of leg, you know, I'm sure I'm doing it to them, they're doing it to me. It's really frustrating sometimes because you're just never sure where they're at. Now, he's not really lagging now, so we just kind of jumped on his head. At least it's not MXGP2, right? So, not going to crash quite as easy, which is nice. Now, what do we do here? We jump over. I think we basically take that same line the rest of the race, I think. I don't, I don't really get the fast one, and I don't go to the inside. So, we're on lap three or four. We're still sitting in third. We've basically been sitting in third most of this race. Second and third. Got Makita Suzuki team up ahead of us. We're all pretty evenly spaced apart until there. Man, that was such a rip. Such a rip. That hurt. I was so... I was raging. I'm not going to lie. I was raging really hard after that happened. Because I felt like, hey, you know, we're running good enough laps. I think we can I think we can still get a win here. And then I started to rage when we went over that corner. Which, I don't know why, because I always do that. I always go over the corner. I'm trying to ride the very edge of the track. And so I get clear to the top of the berms and the corners and don't get the bike to turn. It's my fault. I just can't help myself. It's like I want that little extra, you know, just to carry a little more speed. And, but when you do that, sometimes you get, uh, you get burned, you get punished. And we got punished a little bit from doing that. And we are on lap 4-4, four, four, so we hit that section only once good. But I felt like we, you know, I don't know. I guess I wasn't looking at the, the timer, but I feel like we kind of caught back up to these guys. So we're still making this a race here. Still making it a race. Two seconds down. You never really know. We can see him. We can see him. Pretty evenly spaced apart here. Pretty even spaced. Take a different line here, which I kind of wish I wouldn't because that was not good. That was really not good. Had we just taken our normal line, I think it would have been different. But I elected to go inside and made a huge mistake. These guys don't make a mistake. Did we get this quad? We get this quad. Double. It was close. It was mighty awful close. Had I not decided to take that inside line, it could have been different, but uh, you know what? That's what we decided to do. We'll settle for a third. Nothing to be ashamed of for taking a podium position in positioning position in multiplayer, so I'm happy with that. And it was a good race. It was it was a lot of fun. I really like those close ones. Even whether I would get first or get second or third, it really doesn't matter to me. I just really, really like that close racing. It's a lot of fun. It's really intense and uh, it's fun to watch too, I think. So, yeah, decided to throw these two multiplayer races in one video. I have one more multiplayer race that'll probably be its own video because I don't have any more, so it'll be a short little, like, four or five minute video. And then maybe eventually then we'll get to Squall Valley free ride. Sorry it's taking so long if it's something you wanted to see, but I had these, so I wanted to stick them on a video. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. As always, thank you so much for the support on everything, and until the next video, Take it easy.